Hey guys, uh, today is our final day. It is day 30 in our 30 days of gratitude. And um, figured I'd do it outside even though it's rainy. I'm under the porch as you can see. Um, but I thought I'd do it kind of where I started. Uh, when I did my first day, I was actually sitting up here on the uh, railing here on the front porch. And it's, uh, I don't know if you can actually see behind me, but like you can't even see out towards the lake and everything. It's really foggy and, you know. I guess it's beginning to feel a lot like Christmas, you could say. Um, so today's our final day in our 30 days of gratitude. Uh, I'd say personally it's been quite an adventure this year. Um, a lot of different things have happened. Uh, some scary incidences on the bike and uh, some profound thoughts, I guess. And um, just a lot of gratitude. Uh, I feel like I've personally kind of gotten stronger this year by doing the Gratitude Challenge. Um, and hopefully those of you who have participated as well, be it silently or posting something, say, like on Facebook or somewhere else, um, hopefully you've benefited from it. Um, it's, uh, it's a really fun thing to do, and I think if you continue to do it, uh, not necessarily posting videos like I've been doing the past 30 days, um, because I'll continue to do it even after today. I may not be as good at it as I am for these past 30 days, but if you do it regularly enough, it just kind of, you rewire your brain and it becomes kind of a habit. Um, so getting to our final day, the thing I'm thankful for is, well, I'm really thankful for this. Um, because I d started doing this about four years ago. Uh, thanks to my cousin Beth Holzbrink, she uh, posted about it, and I saw it, and I was like, oh, hey, that's kind of cool, I want to try it out. So I started by uh, just writing out, hey, here's what I'm grateful for today, and then I took it a step further, and I guess for the past three years, including this year, I've done videos. And this year I decided that I was going to do it on YouTube, and yeah, maybe reach a bigger audience, and you know, if it encourages one person to uh, try to, you know, show gratitude in their life and understand what it means to kind of exhibit a, a grateful way of living, then, you know, it's it's a success, I think. Um, it's like I said yesterday, if we could all treat our fellow man better and be more grateful, you know, the world would be a better place. We'd all be happier. But um, anyway, so like I said, today is the last day in our 30 days of gratitude. And the thing I'm grateful for is this. Like I said, my cousin Beth Holzbrink, she kind of got me going on this. And over the years, I've had people that have been supportive of me. And uh, I've had the opportunity to do this every year. And, you know, been in good health, good spirits. And uh, found a lot of gratitude. And um, so I'm, I'm grateful, you know, for her. I'm grateful for uh, my family, for uh, my girlfriend, for just all the people that have, you know, been supportive of me, loved me, given me reasons to have gratitude, maybe gave me that uh, that idea, you know, what I'm grateful for for that day. Um, you know, and it, like I said, it really will change your life. Um, I had something kind of happen today that just kind of rubbed me wrong and just, you know, one of those things that leaves a bad taste in your mouth and... Um, you know, a previous me years and years ago would have uh, just really stewed on it and everything. And, um, you know, now it's like I could dwell on negativity and, you know, just be err, but um, it's not worth it. Uh, you know, we live in a world where sometimes you're going to, you know, just... I guess be rubbed the wrong way, or there's going to be some negativity, or just something that um, just eats at you, or it could. A uh, perfect example is early on in the 30 Days of Gratitude, I had the incident with the driver who was playing chicken with me, for lack of a better way of describing it, and as I expressed, I could have wished ill will on him, I could have wished death and destruction and all this kind of stuff, and I could have stewed on it and been like, oh, you know, you son of a... But I didn't. I, I found a way to be grateful for it, and so, you know, I had something today, and it, 
for a while, it was like, really? Wow. You know, but you got to be grateful in life and you can't, uh, can't make big deals over small things. You know, there, there's times to pick your battles and choose your battles and stuff like that. And, um, you know, this just was one of those times where just kind of being grateful and picking the high road was the better choice. So, um, I'm grateful for just for this opportunity to be able to do this and, um, Grateful for all of you guys, uh, especially the ones that uh, have been sending me messages and stuff like that. Uh, hopefully, I've reached a decent audience, and maybe you can encourage your friends to do this in future years. Or you just do it as kind of a new habit in your life. Like I said, it, all you're trying to do is you're trying to find just a little gem in your life, you know, in certain situations that, you know, that is what can make your life better, rather than this negative thing or this bad or this evil or something you know um just take some of the examples that i've shown this past 30 days and i think you'd be able to see that you know if you can learn to be grateful and have a positive outlook on life you know life can be pretty good even on a rainy day